Batman Returns, and so have I. Cue the intro. Batman Returns, 1992, starring Michael Keaton, Danny DeVito, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Stephen Walken. Yes, Stephen Walken. They didn't put him on the cover, though. That's kind of weird. Anyway, Batman Returns starts with the Penguin, Danny DeVito's character, as a small child who, who the parents are virtually repulsed by. And uh, they don't really know what to do with him. And there's a scene where he's in this box and he destroys this cat. So they get the idea to basically take him down to the river and toss him in and hope something happens to him. And anyway, he ends up being turning into the penguin as where he ends up is Arctic World, which is... Which is a very a specific place in the zoo for penguins, which ultimately leads him to becoming the penguin. And then the story jumps 33 years to a Christmas festival. I don't know what it is with these Batman movies that festivals have to be ruined by the bad guys. But that's just the way it is. Uh, the penguin does a great job here in being Danny DeVito. However, there are aspects of the story that are intertwined as the movie progresses, such as uh, Catwoman starts out as a secretary to Max Schreck's character, which is played by Stephen Walken, and she basically gets bullied around by Walken <laughs> through the whole movie, as Max Schreck is like this wannabe tycoon whose idea is to use a power plant to drain Gotham of its city power, even though the people of Gotham have power reserves that will take them into the next century, or so he's been told. But he says that their growth isn't fast enough. And what ends up happening is his secretary finds out that the power plant is meant to drain Gotham of its energy, and she calls him on it, and there's a discussion, and then he pushes her out the window. Then her cat, and every cat in the neighborhood, really, comes to basically feast. However, this, no, yeah, I'm telling you, this has some kind of magic voodoo trick or something, because as, the, as more and more cats show up and they get near the body... She tends to do this thing where she just wakes up after falling out the window. Which is absolutely absurd. But that's how it goes. It's a comic book movie. Just roll with it because it gets stranger from here. So anyway. She then goes back into the house and says her catchphrase for the second time. Which is... Honey, I'm home, and then I forget that I'm not married. And then she has this nervous breakdown, which is quite, quite disturbing. But then sews together her own cat suit. And then she goes to an area where she starts to create, or this woman is getting mugged in the alleyway, and then she takes out the mugger, very brutally, I might add, by basically scratching at his face. And then, she looks like she's going to take out the woman as well, because she does not like the fact that the woman has to rely on somebody for help. And then Batman shows up. There's, there's a tussle. And one of the things is they they always interconnect these things because there there are scenes in this movie where she's the secretary to Max Rack, who has a meeting with Bruce Wayne who disagrees with Max vehemently, I might add, who 
who Bruce tells Max that the mayor is on his side. And this is where it gets all convoluted because Max then comes up with a solution where the penguin will become the mayor, which is absolutely ridiculous because for people, this is a comic book movie, folks, for people who repulsed the penguin for 30 years and even questioned his existence, and uh, for him to become the mayor, and there's even a scene which I absolutely find hysterical. Okay, so what happens is the penguin sends one of his henchmen up to take the mayor's baby away from him, only to have the henchman hand the baby to the penguin so he can raise up out of the sewer and hand the baby back to the man. <laughs> only in comic book movies, folks, does this happen. This is great. And so he builds this platform of being the good guy. Everybody loves the penguin. The penguin is going to be the next mayor. The only problem is it's December and they're lighting the Christmas tree ceremony. And the penguin points this out to uh, Max, Rack, Max Rack, who uh, says, we missed the election. He says, yeah, but there's going to be a vote of no confidence or whatever. And <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this is this is only in comic book movies. And there's this scene, this is a great scene, phenomenal scene, where they basically take Penguin, who finds out his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Oswald Cobblepot is his name. And they they actually call him Penguin, and he goes, no, my name is Oswald Cobblepot. I'm going to be Mary Cobblepot. He finds his parents and he's digging through the research and him and Cat. there's this w scene with him and Catwoman who are plotting against Batman, which is absolutely hilarious because he's trying to get lucky with Catwoman and she's just like, oh man, I'll come back later. Like, I don't want to deal with you right now, which is a core point in the movie, which I will get to in momentarily. However... Bruce this whole time Bruce Wayne is suspect of this bat of this penguin of this Oswald Cobblepot who wants to become mayor and Bruce is trying to figure it out and he eventually figures out that these are his henchmen and this is how ridiculous this movie is you know it's supposed to be a darker grittier Batman before Schumacher takes over, which we'll get into that later, because that'll be the third and fourth installment of this eight-part series. And if you enjoy this content, by the way, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications, all that good stuff. I'm the worst at promotion. But anyways, the, there comes this scene where they're causing all this chaos, and this has happened for the second time now. And there's this battle between... Bruce and Catwoman, and I kid you not, he knocks her off the building into a into what I can only assume is a dump truck, and she lands in kitty litter, and the look on her face is just saved by kitty litter, like, how can this happen to me, she's thinking. <laughs> you know, I thought the Schumacher movies were campy, and yes, these movies they take themselves a little bit more seriously. But the campiness in this movie, is, if you look hard enough, it's there. Let me tell you, Tim Burton does a great job, by the way. He came back to direct this one, Batman Returns. And also, there's a scene where the Penguin and Catwoman feel like they've defeated Bruce and Batman. And... You know, the penguin's all excited. And he's like, yes, now we can copulate this, copulate this maniacal relationship that we formed. We've defeated the Batman. Yes. And, and he, Catwoman goes, I wouldn't touch you to scratch you. And he goes, I don't think I like you anymore. And he sends her off in this umbrella that's like an Inspector Gadget type. 
umbrella that's just like a helicopter and she's stuck and she falls and Bruce catches her and it's so funny because they keep fighting and there's this mistletoe they wind up under as Bruce and Catwoman and the line is if I remember correctly mistletoe can be deadly if you eat it and the other one goes but a kiss can be deadlier if you mean it, which is very important for later. Um, so yeah, then then they go and Penguin decides he's going to steal the Batmobile and frame Bruce for all these cri- crimes and rig the Batmobile so that Penguin can drive it from a remote location, which is his lair in Arctic world. Oh, man. <laughs> So eventually, and here's the kicker, he goes up to this to this dance where they are meeting with each other, with everybody, and he's got a list of all the firstborn children, because he's the firstborn child in his family, and he was discarded, so he wants to get rid of all the firstborn children, and he takes the father of... One of the firstborns, which is Max Shrek, because he wants to throw him into toxic waste. And it's so funny. Because Batman sends him a note that says, Dear Penguin, the firstborn children regret that they will not be able to attend. And then he sends the penguins up to Gotham Square. Like penguins, like literal penguins. Up to Gotham Square. In an effort to blow up. Gotham and Batman somehow finds a way to reverse this and the penguins start going off on this thing and there's a battle between Batman and the penguin and penguin ends up going through the glass which he somehow survives and then at this banquet thing they do the the whole mistletoe line again where the mistletoe can be deadly if you eat it and a kiss can be even more deadly if you meet it and penguin somehow survives and then catwoman has has found max and she's ready to off max because max has been a bully to her through the whole movie And she has another little tussle with Batman. But, you know, Bruce is trying to talk her into, let's just go home. Let's figure this out because we're people. We like each other. You know, they've been flirting through the whole movie. And there's a moment where Selena Kyle, Catwoman, played by Michelle Pfeiffer, has this moment where it would be a fairy tale to live in your castle. But that's not who I am. And so, anyway, she knocks Bruce down, and then she's got the upper hand, so she turns over to Max, and he's like, Max has a pistol, and he's like, I'm gonna take you out, and then she lists, Penguin got me, Batman got me, everybody got me, so I took three lives, and he, and he shoots her twice, and he goes, Four, five, and then she's counting like a, the the Freddy Krueger movie, and it's just great. And she basically electrocutes Max as well, and the penguin emerges, but he's very ill at this point and lost a lot of blood, which for some reason is black because I guess he's cold-blooded, but he starts walking. And then he just collapses. And in a weird campy twist. The penguins actually. Like the actual penguins. The adult penguins. Lead him to the water. And that's just how it ends. But at the end of this movie. Catwoman emerges. Like she's looking at the bat signal. And that's kind of how it ends. So the next movie in the series. Will be Batman Forever. If you enjoy this content, again, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you subbed, please put I subbed in the comment section so I can thank you personally. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Until next time, may your ego come from a place that keeps you humble. 
I'm Mo Money. Mamba out. <laughs>